Hey what's up everyone, it's your boy Niall and in this video we're going to be going over Angry Beaver combos in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Now I'm going to give you guys a disclaimer for this video. There is going to be a ton of combos in this video and you're going to need to pause this video at least 3-4 to four times throughout the course of watching this. Lucio Rodaga is one of your main approach options and combo tools. This move is extremely good at low percentages and can lead it to moves like Light Up, Light Down, Jab, and Grab. When looking for neutral air to light up combos, keep in mind that a light up hitbox starts behind you, so make sure that Daggett's back is facing towards your opponent. Daggett's jab is extremely fast, and you can use this move as a reset mid-combo. Sometimes I use this move to sneak in a little bit more damage in a combo. Daggett's light side attack launches him forward, so you can use this move to chase down opponents who are launched away from you. Because of the speed of Daggett's light up attack, you don't always have to have the back side of Daggett facing towards your opponent, but that is the most optimal way to land light up on your opponent for combos. Moving on, let's talk about Daggett's grab and up air. At lower percentages, you primarily want to go for up throw as it leads to moves like light up and light up air. Falling up air is a great move with this character, it can lead to moves like light up and pretty much any one of your light aerial moves. Because of Daggett's overwhelming speed, there are many situations where if you hit your opponent, 9 times out of 10, you can follow up with some sort of attack. So even if you drop a combo, look to see if you can continue it. If you're looking to call out Norbert mid-combo, keep in mind that you want to make sure that you're pressing the Norbert input that you're looking for and then immediately going for your attack as fast as possible because you can cancel the animation of Daggett calling out Norbert. At mid percents, Daggett's up throw is just as good. You can do up throw into double up air followed up by an up special or just a simple neutral air. Let's talk about Daggett's down air. This is probably your second best landing option right next to neutral air in terms of being able to start combos. 90% of your combos starting with down air will lead directly into light up, so be ready to juggle your opponent with up air. Here are a ton more combos you can do with Daggett starting with down air. One thing I do want to mention about down air is that you can easily space out this move and hit the tipper of the down air and still create a combo. You don't necessarily have to be on top of your opponent in order to start a combo with down air. Okay, now that we've covered all of Daggett's combo starters, we're not going to talk about Norbert combo starters and how to switch between the two beavers mid-combo. Norbert starts a lot of his combos similar to Daggett, but a lot of his moves have different properties. Norbert's light up does not always send his opponent upwards in the air, so you may have to adjust your combo. When looking to use a switch or assist with the Angry Beavers, you're not necessarily going to be looking for combos, but more so tech chases and follow-ups. This combo here, I position my opponent into a state where I can follow up with the mashed potatoes on Norbert, but it's not necessarily a true combo because my opponent can air dodge out of this. One of the best times to switch between the two beavers is to switch when your opponent is looking to land. I like to switch to Norbert and go for my charge up to hit people who are trying to land. Okay everyone, that's all I have for this intro to Angie Beavers combos. If you want to see more content like this, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and also check out my Twitch. Link to that is in the description. My name is Niall. See you all next time. Peace.